see what Chuck says when I crash. He always has something pretty smart, Alex, to say when you crash. Looks like that's uh, somewhat airfield. Oops. I guess it's speed now. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my time tunnel. Today on my time tunnel, we're going back to 1987 with a little Macintosh AC, and we're going to be playing a little Chuck Yeager's um, Advanced Flight Trainer. Alrighty, here we are with Chuck Yeager's Advanced Flight Trainer. It had a name change, of course, I mentioned that, and the other part of the game. Here's what you get. Pretty cool. This one still has the found the mailing thing in there. I guess I better register this, right? Very important. <laughs> uh, and there it is in color. Unfortunately, we're not going to be playing it in color. We'll be playing it in Macintosh SE <laughs> non-color. Basically, one color. <laughs> well, I guess no colors, right? Black and white. Uh, anyways, this is the advanced flight trainer. Here is the instruction manual. Very in-depth instruction manual. I mean, it really goes in-depth. I like this, how it got the original, some of his writing in there. Pretty cool. Very in-depth. It really gets into it. Now this was a number one selling game when it came out. It really did well. This game really kicked butt for 87, especially in the computers. Um, here is the other part of it. And I tell you what, if you buy this game and just get the disc, you ain't gonna be able to play it without this manual. This manual, when you go to start it up, it's gonna ask you questions about some of these planes in there. It'll show an outline of the plane, and then it'll say, okay, how, how long is it? Or how high does it climb? And if you don't have this book with exact numbers, you're going to have a hard time because you might look them, look them up online and find out, well, this book might have been printed wrong or whatever you found online might have been right or wrong. Who knows? But anyways, it's kind of tough. You got to go in here and, uh, and uh, when you log on, it will ask you how high a, a blackbird flies and you got to go and type it into the, to the game. Or it won't even let you play. It'll just say, nope, see you later. <laughs> I've never seen nothing like that, I gotta say. I've never seen anything like that. I guess it's kind of an anti-theft if you don't got the if you don't got this manual. You weren't really able to play it that well. But um I'm sure there's ways around that, of course. People could print it, whatever. But that was tough, tough back then. So pretty nifty. Anyways, we're gonna get and go up and fly a few rounds of this and figure it out. I'm gonna have to go try to try some missions, but I think we're gonna go try the little instant action it has or instant uh, test flight. So, anyways, here we go. Alrighty, and here we are with Chuck Yeager's Advanced Flight Trainer. Um, I think it was originally called Chuck Yeager's Advanced Pilot Trainer, but they had to uh, change the name for copyright reasons or some kind of leg legality reasons. But anyways, this was a very unusual early flight simulator. It really pushed the limits. Um, it pushes the limits of this little Macintosh SE, that's for sure. Uh, being a portable computer, it doesn't have all the colors and all that kind of stuff either. But um, let's give it a go. I'm going to take the F-18 and let's go see these high quality graphics and sound. I got it hooked up to my little lab techs here so we'll be able to at least experience the Macintosh SE sound because <laughs> the speakers inside the Macintosh are really quiet I mean they work but they're they've always been quiet and they were quiet back in the day so all right F-18 hangar lined up all right here we go now I got it hooked up I think it's for mouse flying right now um, I kind of somewhat went over the controls and at least I know how to get the engine started up oh here we go 
Woohoo! Got a mark number. All right. Let's see if I can turn this down just a little. Boy, it's it's actually rocking. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, got to take the nose in. Okay, we're off the ground. We're at full speed, full tilt. They probably haven't simulated sonic boom in this. I'm getting ready to hit a mock already. Go fly by one of these pyramids. Look at these fine graphics. <laughs> 1987. Woo. Let's see, I think. Let's see if I can find the button. I think this is the outside view. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and inside. Got a satellite view and a couple other different views. Okay, going to mocking some change. I think we're going full tilt. Gotta do some nice heavy banking. See if we can bleed off some of that speed. No, we're actually gaining a little there. Come on. Oh yeah. Wonder if you can tear a wing off. Probably can if you get her up fast enough. Not sure how in depth this uh, simulator is. According to the instructions stuff, it, it was really in depth. But I have never went out and did any of the missions on it. As kids, we just went out and screwed around and didn't know what we we're doing. We we're lucky to even find the throttle. This is one of those games you have to have the instructions with it. You have to have the instructions with it just to play it because it asks absurd questions just to just to start, like the how high a certain plane can fly and stuff. Or it won't even let you play the game. <laughs> and then if you type it wrong, of course it'll just shut you down and make you start over. <laughs> now let's see what Chuck says when I crash. He always has something pretty smart, Alec, to say when you crash. Looks like that's. Uh, Somewhat airfield. Oof. Get some speed now. Alright. Woo! Nice crash now. Mortar shot. If I've ever seen one. <laughs> He's always seen something bad. Huh? Hopefully the scan lanes aren't too bad. CRT, nothing I can do about that. Uh, no capture software for this thing right now. Here's another one of his good sayings from my crash. <laughs> I don't even know you. That's too bad I'm getting a little bit of the scan lines on this. Yeah, certain games. Certain games this camera <laughs> does not like. Let's try a Spitfire. Sound up here. Sounds like I'm already cooking, let alone just firing up. <laughs> Controlling it with the mouse is a little pain in the butt. They did have a controller option for this. Try to get it up for some speed, maybe a loop to loop. Let's see if we can do that. Spitfire! At least it's saying Spitfire on the down on the cockpit, huh? Yeah, that camera's really freaking out with the different changes in textures on this game. Doesn't do bad until it sees something dark or something weird. 
get her up some speed. 200. 300. Woo! Now see if we can loop the loop it. Hey! <laughs> I got a loop the loop out of it. Woo. Too bad I didn't have no guns. <laughs> Spit fire without guns. What good is that? <laughs> yeah, let's go crash it and see what. Old Chuck will tell me about that crash. I'll have to go in and, uh, woo! I have to slow her down. Get a little less throttle there. Or should I see if I can tear off the wings? Gonna be hitting the 400 mark here in a second. <laughs> you sure about the bar on <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, Chuck. <laughs> Anyways, Chuck Giggers, advanced flight trainer on the original system, CRT, uh, Macintosh SE. This is one of the the uh, upgraded Macintoshes. This is the one with the 20 MB hard drive. Whew, that's a lot of room. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed watching. There's gonna be a lot more interesting little weird games coming out that I'm gonna get for this little SE. So hopefully you enjoyed and stick with me. And be watching some more and playing some more games here soon.